Cheers guys, I hope that all of you are doing really well and in this video I want to address a compulsion that a lot of people have. And the compulsion is, rather than going to themselves first and asking, how do I feel about this? What do I think about this? What is my idea about how to proceed forward? They go ahead and they gouge the reaction of their environment to what is happening to the ideas. And then they soak in the people who make them feel the most secure in the environment, the most comfortable, the most grounded, and they convince themselves that the idea that those people had is actually their idea that what those people want is actually what they want. Now, I would like for you to reconnect to yourself. I would like for you to be able to break this pattern of having an idea and then going ahead and gouging the reaction of your environment, but to go to yourself first. Take a moment. Don't tell anybody. Take a moment, whatever thought you had, whatever desire you have, whatever impulse you have, go ahead, connect to how you feel, write it down because you will lie to yourself later. You will tell yourself that you felt things you didn't feel, that you thought things you didn't think. I want you to write it down. I want you to say, this is what I believe about it. This is where I stand on it. This is how I see it. To do a little bit of breath work for a minute or two, go back, write down any additional thoughts, and then to maybe go ahead and consult a few people. Now, the people that you're consulting, I want you to understand this thing. You already have them, their voice as an interject in your head. You're already nine times out of 10 will know exactly what they're going to tell you and whom you choose to go to for advice is already saying whether you're willing to go forward with your idea, whether you're willing to come out of your comfort zone, whether you're willing to take risk. If you have an idea that does require a risk, a commitment, a risk to uh, your reputation, a risk to your worldview, but you go to somebody that is going to tell you to play it safe, to stay inside of your comfort zone, to not be silly, because those are the kinds of decisions that they've made their whole life, then you know is what you're actually doing. You're not looking for objective advice. What you're actually lo doing is looking for somebody who would uh, convince you not to go ahead with the plans that you have. And whatever this person is, whomever this person is, two things I want you to take a look at. What did they achieve in their lives themselves? What did they create for themselves? Is this the kind of life that you want for yourself? Is this the kind of life that you want to have? And the second thing that I want you to ask yourself is, does this person honestly wish me well and see me as capable of achieving? Me? Do they wish me well and do they see me capable of achieving? If this is a person who would get threatened, intimidated, uncomfortable by the possibility that not only I might succeed, but I might succeed on a much larger scale than the one on which they succeeded, do I really want to be going to them for advice? So there is this punishment that you get in life for not pursuing the things that you truly want, for not pursuing the things that you truly desire, reasonably, legally, mind you. And the punishment in life is that at one point you will encounter somebody who did. You will encounter somebody who wanted exactly what you want, who wanted that business, who wanted uh, that person, who wanted that image, and they didn't settle for the small-scale promotion that you were offered. They decided they're going to go for the big thing, and they got it. And I want you to ask yourself the question, not just, what am I risking? What will other people think about me? I want you to ask yourself the question, if I ever encounter myself with a person who did do that and who achieved that objective, who achieved that goal, would I be okay with it? Would I manage to forgive myself for not having done that? And the other thing that I want you to uh, keep asking yourselves when you're gouging opinions through external sources, when you're uh, not comparing your original notes of how you felt and you're allowing yourself to be convinced that you're an extension of this external opinion, is not just what did they say to me and why did they say that, but what for did they say that to me? Generally, even if you're not trying to make an important decision and somebody comes up to you and starts laying it really thick on you, say they're giving you all of these compliments, don't be swept off your feet by this, you know, this fancy kind of into this fancy trap of thinking, I'm so great, I'm so amazing. Get out of yourself first, put yourself in their shoes, and don't just ask, why are they saying all these things to me? Because it's probably not just because I'm so wonderful. What for are they saying these things to me? What for are they trying to get me to like them? What for are they trying to bring down my guard? Can I honestly believe that this is just that kind of amazing, sincere person, which is possible, and they see the value in me, which again is possible, but should never be assumed. The same way if a person comes to you and and they start, you know, kind of giving you petty remarks, trying to take you off your pedestal. 
instead of taking it on, instead of taking it personally, instead of getting offended at it and saying, no, I can achieve these things. No, I am this amazing. No, let me prove to you that I am the best. Take a step back. Don't take it personally and ask yourself, not just what did they say? Why did they say it? What for are they saying this to me? What is the reaction that they're trying to achieve? Are they trying to make me less confident? Are they trying to make me doubt my abilities? Are they trying to make me play into some scheme that they're organizing? I know it seems a little Machiavellian, but some people are. And this what for needs to be applied to you as well. What for did I go to that person for their opinion? I lost my voice. Why did I lose my voice? What for did I lose my voice? I have this condition that other people find repulsive. Why do I have this condition? What for am I trying to repulse other people? Keep yourself in check and remember to reconnect with yourself, not to allow the movie that you're watching outside to disconnect you from who you actually are and what you actually want. All right, cheers, guys. I'll be talking to you soon and I wish you all a beautiful day.